Welcome back guys to Trails of Cold Steel 3, where last episode we headed to the Rhineford building to render the requested aid for the Epstein Foundation, meaning Teo Plato who required an escort into the Geofront's F sector and threw the monsters within to fix a terminal. With Yuna excited to fight alongside a member of the SSS, we dived right into the massive complex, having fought our way through to the final door. Well, it looks like a completely safe round circular boss room. Let's hope the computer's fine. So this is the terminal room. Must be. It's my first time here too. It's smaller than the central terminal room we were in before. Yeah, the terminal itself seems to be more reasonably sized this time. This one's a backup for the main terminal you so helpfully destroyed. <laughs> oh, thank you. I didn't try to. Well, I did, actually. Oh, um, sorry about that. Tio, are you teasing Reen? Well, I'm sure whatever it is, Instructor Reen is 100% at fault, but... Huh, just kidding. As far as I can tell, it's not physical malfunction, so I'm sure it'll be fine if I just restart it. While I'm working, you all can... Tio, what's the matter? Instructor Reen, it's coming. A magic knight? Th this is... Humanoid. I've never seen a cryptid like this. No, this is a magic knight, like the one we fought during our entrance exam. Yeah, just like the ones that showed up during the Civil War. It's Heavy Ruby, the army of magic knight. We can't let it destroy the terminal. We need to defeat it. Right. Understood. Tio, let's go. Yes, Aeon system full power. Threat level high. Well, it seems he's starting. <laughs> yeah, I was betting that was gonna hit everyone. Don't give up! Thank you. Let's go! Break through! Sledgehammer! First things first, let's try to break. We want the scan, but that might be a little while yet. Let's move Reen into a position Get where back. hopefully he can't do that kind of stuff it's to me anymore. Turn. Oh, faint just proc. It's my turn. I'll take that. Beginning analysis. Analysis complete. Heavy Magic Knight, the wheels of giant battle axe, uses the unlimited power from its core to pulverize foes. However, it seems to be. Oh my god, the faint was a five! I got the faint on a five! Seems to be weak to seal. If we could hit with that. Mm. Delay's not too bad. We hit the faint on a five. Now. Do I just go special mode and just, uh. Hmm. Switch. Leave Can't it to see me. see because the camera angle. I'm pushed up against the wall hardcore. It's not broken yet. I'm just wondering if I could use the faint to get the critical and just break him on this turn. Let's go! Raging fire formation! And then switch Kurao again. Very well. So I don't think a normal attack will do it. Let's just do it as a standard S craft. Behold, the I think I have less delay that way. Vander. Now! Ha! I'll end it. Ha! Ragnar, strike! Wow, wait, I got the critical. It's my turn. But I didn't get the, uh... Oh, well, I'm surprised by that. Oh, that's not good. That was not as expected. I was expecting that to... Well, I'm the sledge bam I took away sledgehammer. I took away sledgehammer. That's why I'm done. Well. We now know why I'm done. How can I rescue this dumb situation? Arcus, activate! Alright, it's buffing self and attacking on the next go too. 
It missed three. Take this. It's still no. attacking again. <laughs> it's taking the damage there, unit. To be Take honest. This. Now. It's attacking again. It's mine. When you stop. I know it's enhanced, but man, he got speed on him. All right. Bring through sledgehammer. Well, I'm magic resistant. It's I'm somewhat turn. spell resistant, so we'll go with that. Uh, take it. Let's go. I'm still regaining HP over here. Get back. You're casting a spell? I'm magic resistant, I'll have you know. I guess I'm not gonna switch thingy out just yet then. Uh, or I can break it to get rid Let's of that. Go. That's fine by me. Now how do I work this? Yeah. Now! It's mine! Very well. I can build up some BP here. I'm still magic resistant. Still with my big, large defense buffs. My apologies. I'll handle it. And with a lot of guys doing near 200 CP, if I were to use a divine order to then just S-break with everyone, there. could I finish this guy off? It's my turn. I mean, he's pretty chunky defensive, to be honest. I don't even think everyone S-breaking will do the job exactly. But, for example, I could use Aeon Shield and get fruity, you know, several 200 CP going while also having Absolute Reflect for four turns so I can get my stuff back up. And before I do that, yes, before you do that, you should use the ones that you don't... I should use Arcadia's gear. Now, transform. Sync complete. Go, Arcadia's gear. Ready, launch! Brianna, open fire! Exterminating target! Huh? Ah. It's my I turn. I don't even think if everyone goes in with this attack, they will actually have enough damage, but... Aeon shield, deploy! Everyone's yes. protected no matter what, right? My blade, calm as still water. Now! Ha! Seventh slash! Fallen leaves! All I learned from that special is Reen really hates leaves. Yes. Not leaves, leaves. Get out of it, Yuna. This is it. Ah! One more. I'll finish it. Don't even get the scan. Not enough. Let's go. How much HP? 442? 442. Demi Gunner activate! Absolute zero! I'll just finish the job, shall I? Status. All green. Well, that's a bit worrying when he went all berserk and then hit me like four times in a row, which I was not expecting. Hit me? Sure. Big massive attack? Sure. Four attacks in a row? Not really. But he goes down to the S-Craft Fest. As Yuna really showed it off with her S-Craft to T.O. in the end. Huh. Oh. It seems to have had even greater combat strength than the one before. Yeah, we barely made it. Huh. Oh, that was a magic night. There are things like that in the Empire. 
Yeah, it started showing up out of nowhere like that during the Civil War. And by the way, I actually think that this is the first battle I fought that I feel like everyone being tired, having just barely managed to defeat it, like, with everyone using S-Crafts. I feel like they should be tired because they just use their moves. This depiction works for me this time. Apparently, they're all golems from the Dark Ages. Have they not appeared in Crossbow before? I I've never heard of anything like that showing up. I've seen magical creatures made of alchemy, but none of them were quite that big. What's going on? No way! Another one! It seems to be different from the last one we faced. This is kind of a pain. Uh, instructor! Are you going to use that power of yours? Actually, I could probably call on Valimar from this distance. What? The famous Divine Knight I've heard so much about. If he's coming all the way from camp... I can't reach him, and we'll just have to figure out a different plan. Heed my call! Valimar! No need for that! She's beautiful. Is that an orbal bow? Right on time. Sharon, let's get this done pronto. <laughs> Please leave it to me. Much too slow. Steel wires. The severing chains. Gotcha. Gabriel Arrow! Fall into death's embrace! <sighs> Those techniques! Teal, do you sense anything else coming? Not a thing. I think we're finally safe. <gasps> How do I put this? You and Machias were definitely in on it together this time, weren't you? time thinking of what to say to you once I saw you again but the moment I saw your face I forgot every word I see I think it's been over a year since we've seen each other in person you've become so much more beautiful in that span of time I nearly didn't recognize you <laughs> you've changed a lot yourself but seeing you now and hearing your voice made me remember all over how important you are to me, to all of us. I'm so happy, Reen. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Thank you, Elisa. W what's going on? <clears throat> um, her too? She may be a member of the old Class 7, but this situation is uncalled for. I've heard about your little group before, but you two are quite the cutesy pair, aren't you? <laughs> this is merely the result of all the time she spent yearning for this day. Don't be surprised should you see a passionate kiss or two accompany this tender embrace. Oh, don't joke about that, Sharon! After that, Tio restarted the terminal with no further interruptions. The maintenance parts that Elisa brought with her were swapped out as well, for good measure. Oh, the girls don't look impressed. <laughs> what? <laughs> Was that squ-
scorn I saw on their faces, it looked like it to me. And so Class 7 went back to the station area to talk things over. They headed back to the branch campus's field exercises camp with Tio and Elisa. Well, there's more reunions to be had there alone, isn't there, when you think about it? Took the rain for a train. You coupling on? This is where Elisa Chisholm goes, I'm giving Valimar an upgrade or something. Maintenance car was coming, but yes, I brought you the equipment we talked about too. You're Tito, right? <laughs> it's nice to finally meet you. You too. I've heard so much about you from Mr. Gwyn. Huh? Really? <laughs> great Master Gwyn and Professor Russell have known each other for some time. Whenever the Great Master would make his yearly trip around the continent, he would be sure to stop by Liberal. <laughs> oh, I see. Well then, since we're their grandchildren, let's be friends too. Yes! Hey, Tio Todd. Good job out there. Been a while since I've seen you. Should we have our own passionate embrace? <laughs> you seem like you're doing just fine, Randy. I'll pass on the hug, though. Wouldn't want to incur Muriel's wrath. What? No, no, it ain't like that. Uh... <laughs> Just forget I said anything. <laughs> I guess neither of us are in a great situation right now. But Class 7 and everyone here at the branch campus seems nice. Even the one Lloyd fought. Yeah, I think we could trust him. With all these cryptids showing up, and this whole inspection team business, things sure are starting to smell fishy. Sure would be nice if he turned out to be just the guy to cut through this mess. Wow, Lisa, you've got even prettier. It's so good to see you again, Toa. It seems like both you and Rena are doing your best. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everyone in the old Class 7 is too. A few of Machias came into Crossbell, right? Yeah, so it seems. I, I wasn't keeping it a secret to surprise you or anything. I was planning on delivering new equipment to the branch campus, but also came because the foundation had work for me to do. <laughs> so you say, my lady, yet you worked tirelessly to fit this trip into your schedule. She was super specific about the dates and times for everything. Thanks for that, I was able to make it to the geofront after leaving a message at the RF building. D you guys! <laughs> oh well, look at you, Reen. Just like my partner, you're so blessed, it's unfair. <laughs> that's, totally, that's actually sort of true. <laughs> Porto. Uh, first Laura and Fee. Now this? He does appear to get in trouble with women all too often. That aside, regarding the magic knight from earlier? Alright, that's what we were talking about. Things did get a little off track, but yeah. Why did such a thing appear? I heard cryptids have appeared in Crossbell before, but never a magic knight, right? Yeah, at least I never saw one while I was working with the SSS. Same deal with the guild, probably. It's pretty concerning, a creature specific to the Empire appearing here. We never imagined running into such a situation either. Have you told the other groups about the magic knight? Yes, we informed the Governor General and the local Imperial Army, but it seems like they have had their hands full with the inspection team. Inspection team, huh? They're coming this afternoon, right? That's right. Michael's been in contact with them. I'm sure the RMP's got a lot on their plate, too. You see, now I'm worried about that cryptid, too. Yeah. For such a creature to suddenly appear. I believe we should investigate the two places mentioned in the request. The banks of Elm Lake and the swamps off the East Highway. Two years ago, a cryptid that looked like a turtle and another that, showed, that looked like a carnivorous plant showed up. Oh, but the special support section defeated them, right? 
Yes, that's right. There is some additional information you may find concerning. It's about a cryptid Lloyd and the others defeated on the mountain road the other day. Apparently, it was like a gigantic hippopotamus. What the? Wasn't the one we beat two years ago a big gaudy dragon looking thing? Wait a minute. That's... Oh yeah, that report you guys made. Hmm. Is there some of your information? Did you drop a gigantic pillar of, like, earth on your head from above? Did that happen? You're referring to during the Civil War? Yeah, cryptid appeared in the ruins of Grelia Fortress. I'd definitely call that thing a gigantic hippopotamus. I see. After I disembarked the airship, well, no way to know if it was the same type, but something definitely seems fishy. Yes, I'd like to have more info on this. Come on, instructor. We can't just stand around here. We should depart and begin our survey of the outskirts soon. Let's begin with the side road. Alright, sounds like a plan. So, it may be necessary for me to call on Valimar. Got it. I'll be sure to let Major Michael know. Hey guys, I have a couple suggestions. Huh? Suggestions? Yeah, first off, there's something I brought for you guys to use. Come with me real quick before you head out. I've got it loaded in the maintenance car. Oh, 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 oh. Where's the paint job? Where's my paint? What are these? Some kind of mechanical horse? No. They appear to be a special miniaturized orbital vehicles. That's right. These are orbital bikes. They've each got a sidecar attached to. I can't believe you're able to mass produce these, Elisa. It was thanks to all the testing you guys did on the prototype back in school. Angelica had asked me to make some, and I was finally able to get these produced just this spring. Now they've been cleared for street use under the Imperial Transportation Act, we've got orders rolling in. I'm so happy to hear that. It's something that you, Angelica, George, and Crow all made together. Thank you, Lisa. I'll make good use of them. Mm -hmm. You better. Man, oh man, those are some beautiful pieces of machinery. Just looking at them is making me all tingly. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask about the specs. This is super cool, but your other suggestion was definitely unexpected. Yes, are you really going to help us investigate? It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Sharon Kruger, a humble servant of the Reinford family. While my lady delivers the equipment, I shall serve everyone in the new Class 7 with the utmost sincerity. Um... Well, as we saw earlier, she's certainly very skilled. She does have enough combat strength to neutralize a cryptid, but... Since she's offering, we should go ahead and accept her help. Thank you, Sharon. Oh, not at all. It's my pleasure. Okay, guys, good luck out there. Akoto was spotted on the lakeshore south of camp. It was on the sandy beach past the rocky area. That helped narrow it down a lot. Thanks. Stay safe, everyone. Take good care of them, Sharon. But of course, my lady. See you later, everyone. Well, they don't know she's an Ouroboros enforcer, does they? <laughs> Epstein tech support is complete. We've got a Cat's Master course and 3,000 Mirror from the branch campus. All right, job done. But it looks like things have changed yet again. So it's time for us to head out and talk it out. Look who's here, guys. Look who's here. I guess I'll put you now instead this time. We can play as Sharon. So she's got the Gloom Quartz, Gloom X. And Sirius has been specced for her other side as well. But she's got actually high evasion, so that makes a lot of sense. Uh, what else have we got going? Everyone's all set up. Evade, Holy Breath. Galvary Edge. That's why she's probably quite stacked too, no? Holy Breath. This is bad. We got basically healing. HP absorbed two for an area. Analyze on top of that. And she comes fully equipped with an S-Craft. Phantasmal Butterfly is... Oh, that's her order. Whoops. Wrong one. Death's Embrace. <laughs> SSS plus. Break is D. Amount's no. All KO 100%. Blinds foes, then beckons them to death. 
Yes, yes it does. Phantasmal butterflies, an ambush formation that recovers and raises HP and CP. So it's HP by 50%, evade plus 50% for 4 turns, so basically shining too. Uh, CP plus 50 as well. So you can just go straight evade mode and then try to get serious attacks back while also getting a big heal and a big CP gain. She doesn't have tea anymore! She's not gonna make me any tea anymore! Oh. Suction area L double hit, attacks twice, delay 10. Speed movement down as well. Large. Well, time to check things out. Talk to our crew again. In fact, we can deliver something, can't we? It's Retro Mishy Shrap. Should I give it to Louise? Yeah. Is this the Mishy Strap you're talking about? We can show Louise the strap. Th this is it. Why do you have this instructor ring? I found it in an exchange shop in Crosswell. Glad to hear I got the right one. Here you go. Wait, that's a real life picture, it looks like. Wow, it's just like I remember. I just love those eyebrows. What kind of Mishy eyebrows does mine have? Oh, kind of like, uh, eyebrows. I'm happy face. I want angry Mishy. The current Mishy is nice too, but I, I really like this one. <laughs> when he looked like this, he wasn't as popular as he is now. He has a very interesting atmosphere about him. Yeah, I think so too. I can't really tell the difference. But, but are you sure you can have this? Yeah, you said this was very important to you. I'm glad to see you're happy. I'm um, Dr. Reen, you don't have some ulterior motive or something, right? Yeah, we're just gifting something to another girl. What? Of course not. Um, thanks for everything. My dad has always been awkward, and this was the first gift he got for me. So I wanted to find this no matter what. Hmm, I see. I knew you lived in Crossbell because of your dad's job. Yes, my father is an orbital network engineer. They were for a venture company in Remifaria. It's not here anymore, but there used to be a branch office. Well, things in Crossbell are pretty complicated now, so... So, so it's your dad that got you into communications. That's right, they say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Anyway, thank you so much. I'll make sure not to lose it again. Quest complete. Mishy Merch is done. Give me that money. Jessica grew up in Rust, so of course she knows about the RF company. Hmm, Elisa. She's very mature, but at the same time she's as cute as a button. As a fellow woman, I really look up to her. Oh, I wish we could be friends. Yeah, not many people get to be close with someone so talented and beautiful, let alone several someones. Uh, I can't help but feel that was directed at me. How can you get that stuff and not get the rest? Let's check. Alright, we handed the profile notes. Wow, you got so many. I do. Since you have over 34 registrations, I'll give you a reward from the branch campus. Two Vitality Droplets. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'll be looking forward to more reports. My husband rating rose as well. I'm guessing Let's I can't do any more. <laughs> I'm always going to double check though. That woman is Elisa Reinford from the RF Company. She's also a graduate of Falls and Lady Angelica's acquaintance. Lady Angelica? So you know Angelica, huh? Of course. The Schlieden family serves House Rogner. Not to mention Lady Angelica would come to the training hall by herself, so I spar with her many times. Ah, I see. Miss Elisa really is beautiful. I'm sure Lady Angelica's tried to flirt with her many times, but I don't blame her. Ah, so you're... familiar with Angelica. Lisa Reinford, yeah. So it means that Remark must run the family. She's familiar with Angelica. Why would Magic Knights appear in Crossbell? Just be safe, I'm going to broaden the scope of our observation missions accordingly. If we do our info gathering on the orbital net, it doesn't matter where our field exercises take us anyway. When you're fighting enemies that can constantly teleport in on you at any point in time, what's the point? They're really going to be mass producing orbital bikes, huh? <laughs> Brings back a lot of fond memories. Toa. I took her out on a bike ride, didn't I? I like how the string is actually going all the way down. Kurt! Kurt! She's... She's unraveling your jump jacket by the look of it. It's like she's pulled the string out from his armpit. You're gonna end up with no clothes soon, Kurt. Watch out! All right, I have a gift to give to Toa. Can I give it now? Yes. This is the latest orbital dryer. It's so nice. You sure I can have it? Gosh, you're always doing so much to help me, Toa. This one's supposed to give your hair a nice sheen. Oh, I see. Since my hair has so much volume, I always have trouble gathering it up. Thank you. I'm so happy. 
Her hair has so much volume. So is Bond increased to three. It's like, literally, he's pulling, she's pulling the thread out of his elbow. Uh, I will, armpit, yeah. Anatomy, sure. Lisa and Tita, they look like sisters, what with their blonde hair. Cute and sweet, just like dolls. Just looking at them heals my heart. Everyone's into the girl up. Lisa Reinford of the Reinford Group. <laughs> Seems another adversary stands in my way. Oh, do you perhaps have feelings for Master Reed, my lady? Hmm, I'll allow you to decide that for yourself. You must be a maid. I suppose that makes her all the more dangerous. I said, my own maid is no slouch herself. Mm hmm I see. It'd be an honour to meet her, if only once. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Muse Egret. And you? I am a servant of the Rhineford household, Sharon Kruger. It is a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Um, why are they introducing themselves? I can say. So I must have clicked between them. I will lose to Elisa, and you won't stop me either, Sharon. I humbly invite you to bring it on. What are they talking about? Okay then. A challenge has been threatened. A challenge has been thrown down. Those are all bites. They're obviously good for scouting, but I was thinking they might be suitable for light like, shipments as well. Of course you would. That's a good point. Small size would make it much more maneuverable compared to an armored car. Well, I won't deny it. You can stop it with the puppy dog eyes now. Huh. Sorry, I wasn't trying to guilt you or anything. Gotta restock? I don't know, do I? Come again. I better read myself another book at this point in time. We've got two books to read. We should split them out a little bit as well, shouldn't we? Hey, Sydney, are you listening? No, nope, looking at the robot. In order to get ready for this afternoon's field exercises, we need to take the dragon and... Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. You saw that bombshell blonde, at least too, right? I can't focus after getting an eyeful of that. I mean, sure, she's quite attractive. Oh, so you get it after all. Well, of course. I have eyes, you. Uh, I mean... <sighs> boys. They're beyond saving. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? I'd appreciate if you didn't put us all in the same category like that. Hey, Sydney, stop going on about Elisa. Honestly, I'm trying to concentrate. <sighs> There's nothing more divine than the grown woman in a tight skirt. Amazing. Just amazing, Elisa. <sighs> Sheesh. You're such a... Chat is counting how many people or how many times that Elisa being mentioned as pretty is going on. Supposedly we're at eight. I'm... How many people have we spoken to? Eight? A bit more than eight. Just about. No, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. <laughs> I got some bracken from fighting a bracken monkey. This is it, the king of all intriguing ingredients. How should I boil it or grill it? I can't decide. Freddy, not interested at all in the Lisa. Freddy wins the reward. What reward is, I don't know. Never change, Freddy. It's got plenty so we can boil and grill it. <laughs> You've got good taste. So have ah, you. Give it a try, Freddy. What can I get you today? Or we can make one Freddy special if we wanted to, but we'll keep that rock tribe for now. Maybe ah, we'll get give ourselves a, a little bit more cash. Nothing for me to buy. <laughs> you've got good taste. Unless you've got some more fishing stuff still. Ah, give it a try. Well, I think I should take a short break. No, not really. And read myself a book because we've got a chapter of Heartless Edgar waiting. But we, of course, leave that for our bedtime story. So we do have part two of the Immoral Hero awaiting for us. So let's learn about that. We're in a story of brothers that are immoral because heroes. Yes, good synopsis, I'm sure. Part two, the adoration twisted. Mark continued to defeat monsters every day to protect his status as a local town hero. However, eventually the monsters stopped appearing, meaning that Mark couldn't perform heroic feats as often. He started losing fans and receiving less praise. Fine, Mark said haughtily. If killing monsters here isn't enough, I'll just do something even greater. He believed if he showed the townsfolk even bigger and stronger heroics, they'd treat him like a hero once more. So Mark started venturing into the forest to dispatch monsters there in order to boast about his strength and seek more praise. Shino followed him every time in awe of his brother's feats. One day, a thief appeared in town. Mark easily killed the thief. But believing that wasn't enough, Mark ventured outside the town and killed all the thieves he could track down. Oh? Thanks to Mark's heroics, nothing would ever be stolen anymore. And Shino continued to follow his brother and watch him kill without hesitation. On another day, a burglar came to town, but Mark tailed him and killed him. 
However, Mark wasn't satisfied with just the burglar's death, so he tracked down the burglar's family and killed them as well. While Mark was able to protect the townsfolk from crime, the town itself began, became known as a ruthless and barbaric community because of Mark's violent justice. And the more Mark brandished his sword, the less the townsfolk regarded him as a hero. Fearful of Mark's brutality, the townsfolk distanced themselves from the murderous swordsman. Why they shunning me, a local town hero and their saviour? Mark was confused, but didn't bother asking anyone's opinion. Not even that of Shino. He was too proud of himself, believing himself to be the perfect being. I know what I have to do. I must become even stronger and kill more enemies. Surely they'll praise me and call me a hero once again. And so Mark remained blind as to why people no longer considered him a hero. Obsessed with being lord as a hero again, he pursued his sword training once more. Yes, I can see why he's called the immoral hero now. Yeah, <laughs> apparently, kill every last one of them applies to this man. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Pretty much does. Only you said you were too poor, and now you complain there isn't anything to buy? Here. Specifically here. I need to buy defensive gear. I already heard, Schwarzer. You may need to get the Ashen Knight involved. Yes, if we encounter more magic knights or cryptids, it's definitely a possibility. Ugh, well, the VIP's coming in soon. I'd like to lay low, but. Damn it, more calls! Major Irving is really busy. Yeah, I don't think we can talk to him for a while. Yes, yes. I'll leave the security on that side to you. As for the media, hmm, this is gonna be busy for a while. I'll leave you out. Let's challenge him to cards right now. At least we actually know why it's called the role hero now, right? Kurt, did you really find one of those magic knife things? Yeah, though we couldn't get the second one on our own. I, I see. Well, you didn't try, really. Well, I'm glad you didn't get hurt. If you ever need some medicine, please let me know. Thanks, Kyrie. Your help is much appreciated. Why are you nice and cryptids? Things are looking really ominous. Just hope no one gets hurt. Please, take your time. I don't know if you've got anything to really sell me, though. Take care! I'm quite good with my Curia Balm supply, which is just generally got from the constant breaking we do with Sledgehammer. Ah, oh, a good break. Right, am I tuning the CP? I think I am. I got gifted back some by the look of it. Right, we found one person so far that we can do the giving in the books with. Tatiana! I found a couple of books. I, I'll take a look. Only two, though. Oh, no, I've had three, actually. So, so many. Thank you very much. I found four. Black Records, two. Um, here's your award from the branch campus. Magic Droplet times two. Actually doing some great work here. No, I should be the one thanking you. In any case, please let me know if you find any more documents. Right, more enhancement rating? I, I managed to access Crossbell's Orwell network during the field exercises this morning. There were so many different services and types of information hoses on it. More than I ever could have imagined. The, the technology beam really is amazing. I haven't found any seeds for you yet, because I haven't really been out in the world, have I? Once break is over, I'll need to start working on lunch. I'll change up the leftovers from breakfast. For another dish, I'll... <laughs> Looks like Sandy's getting creative. Bugs! Bugs! Bugs, I say. So how's it going in Michelin? It's tough. The intelligence division and RMP are working together, and they're not giving us many chances. Now that I think about it, they have three others beside the Governor General. Yeah, I knew they'd be a tough group to handle. But I didn't think it'd be this hard. Randy, Tio. They're working out of Michelin, are they? So this is where you were. Yeah, Tio taught here's waiting for Tita. I also need to speak with Elisa regarding operation of the Arcus 2. Oh, and by the way, Rain, might I speak with the Ashen Knight later? Yeah, of course. Are you curious about him? Yes, I'm interested in seeing a machine frame made entirely of Zemurian ore, of course. But as an engineer, I'm also curious how such advanced machine intelligence is even impossible. Yeah, talking with Valimar is pretty much like talking with a normal person. I've spoken with him as well. It gives the impression of a traditional warrior. Right? His personality makes him seem like he's some big shot from the past for sure. Hmm, yeah. But up until a year ago, his speech was a little awkward. That aside, Miss Sharon, was it? You're quite a beauty, you know that. If I had to guess, I'd say we're around the same age. I'll be turning 24 before too long. Hands off. She's Anton's. <laughs> Why, thank you for the lovely compliment. 
I'll be turning 25 myself, making me a year older than you, Master Randolph. One year older? That's even better! That, your looks and how graceful you are? Man, I sure am sure jealous of the house you serve. <laughs> Randy, I believe this is what's known as hitting on chicks. <sighs> Why are you learning these words? I believe Muriel's one year older as well. It seems I'll need to report this information to Belgard Gate post haste. No, I told you it's not like that. <laughs> it would appear you already have someone dear to your heart. Ah, Tutor, why are you always gonna? Okay, first off, Miriel's just. <laughs> Seems like this person's pretty important to him. By the way, that Aeon system you use, it may have some similarities with the resonance between Clem Soleil's and myself. I got the same impression. Though the specifications and purpose may be different, it seems both adhere to the concept of human-machine interface. Oh, but wait, does this count as classified information? No, it does not. But to make one correction, human-machine interface may not be the appropriate term for Clemsalace. When referring to a combat shell, it may be more accurate to call it a machine-human interface. Oh? Huh. That just makes me even more curious about the developer. Unfortunately, since they are very protective of their secrets, I believe investigating would be a waste of time. Kurt, do you have any clue what's going on? Not a single clue. She is from the workshop, just like Milliam. I suppose she must have her own circumstances too. This is way outside my wheelhouse, but hearing it makes me a little concerned. Yeah. The black workshop. Mm -hmm. I really like today because I've talked to so many people. I'm getting a little sad thinking about having to go back. You can stay if you like. <laughs> I'm sure no one minds. <laughs> Anyone mind? Anyone in the chat mind? Do you want to stay? <laughs> no one minds, right? You got a rip in your skirt. It looks like there are no issues with the output. Since the Hector is so heavy, it may be hard to maintain stability. But now I'm just going to gather information from the Draken. Once we're back on campus, I'll consult the Professor and Mint. Oh yeah, Mint came to help out, but is she really going to be okay working as Professor Schmidt's apprentice? I know him personally, and he can be a bit much... <laughs> He's a really amazing and knowledgeable person. Not to mention, there are plenty of other people like him who are only interested in research. Huh. Engineers act the same the world over. But I'm jealous. If only I was an engineer too, I could have helped out at the branch campus. I guess I have more of my mother's blood than my father's. Oh, but I guess I could help out with the business side of things. She seems to know Instructor Reem pretty well. I wonder what kind of relationship they have. What, are you talking about new equipment? Ah, don't surprise me like that. Mm hmm, you don't need to act that surprised. Alisa was telling me the specs of the new equipment. New equipment? Do you mean that device? Is this like a... An additional unit that you can connect to Panzer Soldats? Mm hmm it was developed by RS 4th Development Division. It's used uses technology co-developed by the ZCF in Laville. That's a first. After hearing that, I'm really looking forward to seeing what it does. You can tell me the details tonight, right? Yes, I'll finish the testing tonight and report to the instructors. <laughs> Please look forward to it. They're jets. Right? They're literally to enable flight, so that if I get in a bad scenario, not only Valimar gets delivered to us, but to others? <laughs> the girls are still with scorn, yes. Hmm, anyway. Ah, you're Yuna, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, that two-facedness, like, ah, it's the least sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> When I was at the police academy, I used a lot of equipment made by RF and the Vernon Company. Thank you for the all bikes and everything else too. <laughs> you're welcome. I heard you're from Crossbell, right? I'm sure you have a lot going on. But please take care of Reen. You too, Kurt and Altina. Yeah. Understood. <laughs> he takes care of us more than we take care of him. Hmm. Lisa has more presence than she did when she was a student. Mm -hmm. She worked hard to become the general manager of the fourth development division. Anyway, good luck with everything, Reed. Please take good care of them, Sharon. 
Mm -hmm. I certainly will, my lady. Thanks. I'll see you later. Alice is really amazing. She's pretty sweet and works hard. I look up to her a lot. I'm glad she's so easy to talk to. Is she pretty too? Yes. That's my answer. Alright, another one can be opened. For Thanks. old Tina. I'll help. Thanks. And now we can finally put that in. Which one was it I wanted? Dragon Vision. ATS plus 30, EP plus 120, automatically analyzes defeated enemies. That'll work for me. Gives me a little bit of a just in case kind of vibe. What's it got? Rage. Accuracy of 100%, evasion plus 10%. Counterattacks after evading always deal critical damage. Oh, where did we get that? I don't know when I got it, but it's pretty good. I want to give you the scent, but then you're going to attract everyone to us. It's going to be really annoying. Don't do that. Let's give you rage then. Oh, wait, why did I get that off? I can keep scent on. What am I doing? Why did I go... I keep that on. Why did I take that off? I don't know why I was doing that. All right. 29% evasion for Kurt now. That looks pretty good. And now he's got the accuracy plus 100% and evasion plus 10%, which means that he doesn't need a hit, which he doesn't have on him anyway. And the other side of things is that... I guess he doesn't necessarily need a green emblem. At least for accuracy purposes, if you know what I mean. 150% accuracy is a little bit much. And I could go with an evasion plus item, which we've only got one of by the look of it. Doesn't actually seem to even give me that much evasion. Doesn't seem to add to the evasion stat there. Am I reading things wrong? I don't even know anymore. 29% evasion. A little bit of extra strength. If I had to give that to anyone then, I'd give it to you at the moment. What else do I want? More speed works with me, to be honest, but... Let's go with CP gain now. Gladiator headband, yep. Yeah? Right, job done here. Let's move on towards Vanima. Green. Seems another magic knight has appeared. Yeah, it was the same type of sword back during the Civil War. But it's the first one to appear in Crossbell. Hmm, that points to some manner of change having occurred. I'm impressed you all were able to defeat it, however. Well, we did get a bit of unexpected help. Yeah, but if something like this happens again, I'll be ready to dispatch. Reen, don't hesitate to call for me. Yeah, thanks, Valimar. I need a robot voice synthesizer. That's what we need. And so I think we've talked to everyone, but... Have I? There's someone up here, isn't there? Yeah, that's why I was... I was like, I'm missing the person I give the battle reports to, aren't I? I'll take a look then. Hmm, this is wonderful. Yeah. More than 74 cases love. Here's your reward. Power drop the times two. Thanks, you've been a great help. Hm, you're welcome. I'll be looking forward to your next report. There's still more chances. for things to be said about Elisa. Hm, Leonora and Pablo acting like kids in a candy shop. Well, I suppose I can't blame them. They just all like the bikes today. Oh, bikes. <laughs> They're so cool. They're pretty nice. I'd like the ride one someday. I think an orbital bike really suits your personality, Leonore. Yes, I agree. I think I'll talk to them from the front next time. These orbital bikes are pretty damn sweet. Hey, Schwarzer, let me borrow the keys tonight. Not gonna happen. Why would you even go so late? 
You serious? The entertainment district? Duh. See, you've got more mirror than you'd think. If you want, I'll be willing to share some of you if you catch my drift. Oh, well, if you put it like that, absolutely not gonna happen. Did he really just proposition me in the way I thought he said? I don't think he was referring to sharing the money. I might try a normal bike one day. Well, I forgot to take this thing out. Damn, I'm jealous of you guys. Look to self. Never let the keys out of your sight. Huh, unlike all the cars, the bikes don't have roofs. <laughs> Letting the wind hit me is going to feel real good. Until the flies, because it doesn't have a visor. It doesn't have anything. They don't even wear helmets. Think of all the flies and the midge. But they're just. Blah, 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 blah. It's going to be horrible. You're going to be driving along going, ah, the lovely. <laughs> And it's in your mouth. Oh, well, bikes. I'd have rumors, but man. Could you look any cooler riding one of those if you want to be covered in flies? <laughs> Dead flies. Let's not forget about that blonde lady. Lisa, was it? How could someone that cute even exist? There you go. All over the place as usual, I see. Hold up. What have you been riding that boat with Lisa? God, Normie alert. Normie alert. You hear that, Normie? You already experienced that, didn't you? Sheesh, leave me alone. Really? We're going in? What's this? Trails of Cold Steel 3 Chan? Have a look, see. I don't know anymore. Be well. Have a look, see. Shouldn't be anything for me to strengthen at this point. See ya. I guess I'm taking my bikes out for a spin. So that's 10. At least they're being called pretty, is it? We should use the bike stair to where the crypto was spot. Hmm. We also have to leave camp now. I shall stay for two seconds. Wondering where I could walk to. Do I have to check out Crossbell Town now? You know what I mean? Has things moved on? Obviously not. Rin and the others pushed the two orbital bikes onto the highway in front of camp. There they decided to go over how to operate them. I mean, stability is massively up with a sidecar, surely. Those are pretty much all the basics. For everything else, you'll just have to try it out yourself to get used to it. Who's going to drive the other one? Oh, me, I will. I shall... Uh, are you sure? It seems similar to riding a horse, so I think I would be better suited for it. Nah, -uh, I'm way more cut out for this. Let Yuna do it. I had tons of practice driving noble cars from the police academy. Noble cars, huh? That was impressive, but these bikes seem a bit different from them, wouldn't you say? Uh, if you're a real man, you'll quit your whining. I couldn't ride the horse last time, so I'm not going to give this up. Mm -hmm. They certainly seem to be close. Go on, you two. Try not to get so heated up. Ah, fine. Just try to drive safely. Okay, just leave it to me. Does that mean I'll be riding behind you, Instructory? Mm -hmm. And I should be joining you in the sidecar. You can ride Clem's the Lace. Let's get moving, everyone. Oh, Yuna, 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 Yuna. Mm. Just wondering if you could. Could you make, could you drive it so just the sidecar goes in? I'm guessing the whole bike will go in then. It's a bit of a shame. Is there any way to tip Kurt out of the bike and into the water? I don't know. Let's get moving, everyone. Our destination is the lakeshore south of the side road. Want to that? Let's go! Riding the orbital bike. It works a little differently from walking. Hold on, I want to go forward and I want to back up. You can get off the bike by pressing circle. When you want to get back on, approach the bike and press X. Pressing square. One of the bike will allow you to change the bike settings. Further pressing L2 to open the action menu and then pressing triangle will allow you to instantly get on the bike no matter how far away it is. I could change its settings. Okay. Change ride settings. Basically change its order by the look of it. What? You can mess with the uh, combinations of people going on. By the look of things. Sharon's just not in any bikes right now. 
Uh, Kurt's, Kurt's just running. No, 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 no. You need to run. Get, get in the sidecar. Well, that's the thing. No, I don't want to do that. I want to check the map. I can't go back to Cosbell. So I guess I'm just moving onwards for now. Let's get going. Go, go. Go, go. It's fine. I can make it pass. Let's see how far I can go before it stops me. We don't have time to head back to the sea. Nope. So we don't have to check things out. We know that for certain. That means we can move on. Oh, I just realized something. Oh, no, they're all still there. Great. I thought, like, because the bikes went, that they would move up there. But it's fine. That didn't happen. We're good to go. Let's get going. Go, go. Go, go. Let's go, go. That's the road to. <laughs> Remove a driver from the other car. Let's see if a ghost will drive it. All right, let's stop here. Oh, I can seriously get addicted to being the wind in my hair like this. Ah, why should you drive from the psycho? So stressful. I won't have any hair left before long. I said I can at least tell you have dri experience driving. Oh yes, you're quite skilled, Lady Yuna. Hm, I'm sure Lisa would be happy to know you're enjoying it so much. Lisa, she's so gorgeous. Eleven. She's petite, she has a great body. She's super stylish and those bow skills of hers. Plus, she's the daughter of the famous RF group, right? Honestly, I'm super curious what your relationship with her is now. Hmm. Such a passionate embrace in front of your students. Regardless of who it was, you have no excuse, Instructor Reen. <laughs> Please don't blame Master Reen. Lady Lisa has grown into such a beautiful woman that a hug from her would be fatal for any man. What? No, I wasn't thinking about that at all. Uh, well, maybe. <gasps> Traitor! He corrected himself! I heard it! He let it slip. Well, let's put Instructor Reen's relationships aside for the moment. Why, hello there, Master Code of the Vanda family. Is there perhaps something on my face? Pardon me if I'm being rude, but I must ask. Who are you? Ah. Uh, the steel wires you bound that magic knight in were more than a little surprising. Hmm, such a perspective a maid who serves the Rhine family. Though perhaps you remain unconvinced. That technique was outside of every martial art I know of. Still, it's extremely useful in battle and highly adaptable besides. If you want a martial artist, a soldier or even a Jaeger, then... Mm -hmm. Just what I've come to expect from the Vander family. I believe it's just as you suspect. <laughs> How does he... How do What? That's a jump. Yeah, it really was a jump in logic. I was kind of going like, wait, if you're not this, this, you could be just someone who's also good at martial arts from some other country. No, Ouroboros. That's exactly where his mind went. What? What are you talking about? Seems Kurt has already seen through her. He may have heard a few things from his brother, too. But now I'm simply a maid who serves the Rhineford family. Nothing more, nothing less. My origin has no bearing on the love and loyalty I have for them. Therefore, I shall serve my lady's underclassmen, the new class seven, with all my heart. It's a bit complicated, but the RF Group and the Imperial Government both know about it already, including the RF Group's chairman. <sighs> Very well. I'm not yet convinced, but I'll let it go for now. What are you all talking about? I'm so lost here! We can discuss it again later on. Our destination is close at hand, so we'd best get going. Yeah, let's do just that. This martial arts man has saved me in trails, in trails in the sky! Ouroboros! Let's get going. Go, go. This is what we're going now. This person is selling me an item. Ouroboros! Break through! Sledgehammer! Well, I need to get my 
stuff on. Shadow Stitch is the one I have the most break potential with now, it seems. <laughs> Let's just attack the Bracken it's my Monkey. Turn. We have 80 delay anyway of our abilities, by the way. Uh, Bracken Monkey looks like he's really going to beat me up. And I didn't break him. My turn. I wanted to yeah. scan with you, but oh well. My turn. Seems to be a bit missed up an opportunity now. Uh, strike! Don't worry, that should do the job. Especially considering turn. it just destroyed everyone. Now! An opening! Oh, I do need to get some BP back, that's for sure. Huh. Everyone okay? Zero scans were obtained this day. Plan bits were though. <laughs> Why he's been hit by Kazeki paranoia? <laughs> Everyone is the Grandmaster. There! Looks like a this one's strong. Be Looks careful. Looks like a tough. And we're straight in there on that battle. We're in the there. blink of an eye. A tough one for who you say? I can hit more of that. Now. Well, thanks for the BP back. An opening! Let's go! Maybe I'll get to scan someone, he says. Crimson Slash! It's down! Strike! This is it! Let's go! That looks to me like we're just finishing everyone out of hand at the moment. Yeah! It's Except down! Except for you, who has an absolute Alice's ton of HP. What the hell? I shall go. The Gordiosa has 19k. Scan complete. A rare primordial monster that lives away from humans. Its raw shakes mountains is strong enough to throw a tank. Yes. Yes, yes it is. I mean, I'm still at 200 CP, so... Jump. I guess her now. 80 delay is going to be pretty damn good for the An rest opening. of this. I'm up. Huh. Now. Build up our BP again. Strike. My turn. And a full five points. Let's go. Raging fire formation. My turn. There. Now. It's mine. My turn. Can't believe we're nowhere really near a killing it. What are you weak to, if anything? Wind? Huh. Zero art, so I might be able to do more damage off of that, but when I think about it as I'll well, you. thank you. Well, you guys teamed up. It's my turn. This is not a bad idea. <sighs> this is our chance. An opening! We and Sharon will be able to my get turn. enough in that we yeah. should be able to finish things off now. Especially with <laughs> critical. Is that all? He had a lot of HP. I must train even more. Did we just get a faint? Quartz? Stats updated. Kurt, I'll see yeah, that. I did it. And Yuna level up. And we get Sepip every time 50 yet again. I'm pretty sure I just got a fake quartz. Indeed I did. Attack scraps can inflict faint on enemies 10% chance. Well, faint is brilliant. If you can hit it, and then you're like, ha ha ha. So I'll go for that. Do we miss some more like boulders and objects along the way? Because I want to break them now for the uh, yeah. the good stuff. Let's get going. Go, go. go. <laughs> Woohoo! This <laughs> feels great. Let's get going. Pay go, attention go. to where you're going. In the war. I haven't felt this kind of rush in ages. I don't quite understand why. Everyone ready? Should probably let them finish that. I was expecting the coat to end by that point in time, I'm but up. it did not. Break through! Sledgehammer! I just realized something. You are a stray sheep. A sheep monster that strayed from the flock, exposed to an uncaring world, it returned home cynical and disenchanted. It made the proper noise. There is a sheep attacking me. Get back! It's my turn. Do I think I'm actually going to be able to scan any of these bugs? I don't How know. Does this suit you? 
Binding chain. It's going to pretty much kill Very everyone well. because it attacks twice and that's ridiculous. Well, Death Scorp here and a stray sheep that's been beat up quite horrendously. Yeah. There. I'll assist. Now. Not enough to get a finisher by the look of it. Search mode activate. Scan complete. A sturdy, formerly aquatic insect that grew wings from mutation. It charges enemies with its stout yet sleek body. Lead this to me. Well, you can't reach. You can't reach anyone. Now. There. A certain someone it's is mine. Sealed. Yes. Let's go. Raging fire formation. I may as well top up everyone's CP yes. a little bit. Ha. And finish off the job. Let's be off, everyone. Right, All green right, level there. got it. 